last hour toast to come up. I'll put it in for a few more seconds. Hi guys and welcome to Peter Ray's Adventures. Welcome to the latest video. Just going to be sharing with you and showing you what I'm up to today on Thursday the 9th of April. Um, a few clips as I'm going on an outside walk so you'll see the big vlog soon and a few clips in this little vlog and other bits and pieces I've got to do throughout the day. Here is two times match attack folders. They sold on Wednesday the 8th of April and they're going GSP to Ireland. So I brought these, I believe it was the Hook Road Arena car boot sale two times match attack books and separate um, times I went there so they've got to be go through GSP which I do on the um, eBay website because it gets automatically gets tracked and then there's one more that's sold in this package is some 007 spy cards um, with the playing cards and top trumps included which wasn't originally included in the actual metal tin because there's a metal tin inside it sold on Wednesday the 8th June day, it's on a 10% off offer so it uh, went for £11 plus postage I paid about 2 or 3 99 at my local Hook Red Arena car boot middle of last year, 2019 not a bad sale there so I put a picture of um, the item that sold on the video. Right, cup of tea time. Two sugars, one, two. Often as I was, I could just get sicker and sicker. It's my Lovely. life having to go into hospital. Wow. Let me know in the comments below um, on this video how you like your toast. Do you like it lightly brown, pretty much crisp, burn, or not done much at all? Let me know. That's how our toast has come up. I'll put it in for a few more seconds. A bit more brown. This is how I like my toast. Quite um, crisp, lovely, perfect. Amando, bit of jam, bit of butter, done. Just outside for my one exercise a day, um, doing two vlogs at once, a big vlog and this smaller one, we're in the, or should I say, we're by the Hogsmill Local Nature Reserve, in the Epsom Yule Borough. So I'm going to go from here, where I am here, here, all the way to the, past the water's edge, down here, across where Roxley Lane is, where Epsom Yule High School is here and then go down to here, um, you're caught. Cool. So I'll get a few more clips for the video. I don't want to go down to your village, not not in this time, but just to your court cool where the lake is, and then I'm going to turn back. So just come up here. Here is um, a contributory of the River Thames. It's the Hogsmill River. Let me just pass all the brambles and nettles. Here. It flows from through there, where it went last time all the way through here goes down to where I am going to go so the Hogsmill River here we are um, Chesington Road Borough of Epsom and Yule home of the Derby Epsom Derby
This here is a park called Gatley Avenue Park, about five minutes from where I live. At the moment, um, the park is closed due to COVID-19, obviously. I did a vlog f um, from mine to Tolworth, and the second vlog, actually I did two, around the charity shop, so I linked that playlist on the video. So as I'm here in this field, it's nearer um, that way to Chesington and that way to um, Tolworth, near, uh, go that way around, near Jubilee Way, where I go to my, well, I did go to my um, bowls club, King George. Let's zoom you in. A couple of horses are... Just gonna head down that way towards the water's edge. Now, there is some lads on the skate park where there shouldn't be, to be honest. As you can probably see in a sec, yep. More than one. Disgusting. I'm here by the um, water's edge estate, which I'll put in the vlog um, on Google Maps how big it is. Going head towards that way. So up ahead is Tolworth Tower, which is in Tolworth. Then you've got that way towards Chesington, that way towards Epsom and Epsom Newell area. Tower of Tower right there. We're heading this way, past backwards past Ruckty Lane. Ruckty Lane's that way. And then we go this way towards um, Yule Court. Because I could go further than Yule Court to go to Yule Village, but I won't. I'll just go to Yule Court Park and then see the ducks. Yes, that's right, the ducks. <laughs> Still following the river. As, as it's flowing from left to right towards, towards Kingston Pond Thames. And then this way is towards Yule Village where it basically starts a spring. Plenty of paths for throughout to actually go round and see in the beautiful areas. Here we have the Paul Road Recreation Ground, King George V playing fields, which is over here. Then you've got the little park that's not open. Over there um, will be Yule Court Park. I'll just quickly go up here and share with you a little bit of it for the day vlog. Hopefully you're enjoying this day vlog we'll get up to. When I get home I've now got to amend a um, listing because a lady from Australia would like two of my Harry Potter books, only two, Deathly Hallows and another one. 
and now all we've got to do is amend the listing, delete a couple of photos, um, do a bit of a title, etc, 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 et and, and the price, go on GSP, so hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood and all that, um, the sale will go through. So yeah, you've got the football pitches, you've got the um, sports areas, Bampton, tennis, etc. So what I'll do, I'll go on that way and I'll speak to you in a bit. Here is Yule Court Library, a big uh, Victorian style era building with red bricks. Um, Yule Court Park's over here, Epsom Hill Borough, da -da, we are here. So I'll let you know in the video how big um, Yule Court Park is and all the information about it in the comments and description. There's many ways you can go out of here, that way, that way, or around out of here to the left, to um, you'll be near the park, there's a path down there. I've just picked out seven items um, to list. It's around 20 past five. Haven't been back long from my trip to Yule Court Park, which you've seen some footage from. So I've got these Grand Theft Autos, Free, Vice City and San Andreas, the best of the rest. Derek Payne, aka Tap Peddler, was a, was a program on Vice City, so do go and subscribe to Tap Peddler on the YouTube. I'll put his link in the video. So worth around £20-ish plus postage. This battery for a Canon, batch, a Canon camera I used to have, worth around 20 Again, 15 to 20 Had to test this Wii Sports. Had quite a few scratches. It works. So around 15 to 20 on that. Then need some Nintendo worth 140 150 roughly. Something like that. Paid about 50 odd a couple of years ago on auction. Tripod worth about 30. I won't get it out. It's the V X T60 Filtrox. These I picked up a couple of local jumbles. These are um carry more mount um high Um, they're Mountain Warehouse Vibrams, worth £29.99 these, and these ones are worth £25, the um, carry more ones, so not too bad. It's now 6 o'clock, been back about just over an hour from my trip to your Court Park, my one trip a day, well, I go a trip, a big trip, uh, very occasionally, to bring you quality content. Um, I got some footage for this day vlog and some footage for my big vlog coming out um, probably in the next couple of months or so. Also, I have to go on to eBay in a bit. A lady from Australia would like a couple of Harry Potter books. It's, it's in a bundle, but all I got to do is revise the listing and put a different price on because she's fine with GSP. I was going to end the vlog on Thursday the 9th of April, but I had these two 
um, sales come through one set and one. It's now Friday the 10th of April. I had these two come in. This one, Tag Classic SummerSlam 94.95, um, about half eight, quarter to nine. And then this one a lot, a lot later on. Can't remember, about 10, 11 ish, something like that. And then this one just after 12 o'clock sends an offer to a watcher. So there's a little story between these two. And then that one's just sent off to watch the Fast Show um, DVD collection, <laughs> BBC DVD. And this one's Tag Classics 96, 97, so there's two. So you've got these, for example, like British Bulldog with Psycho Sid, Goldusk, Mark, Mero, etc, etc, etc. And this one you've got like... Undertaker vs Undertaker etc and all the rest. I just wanted to share with you how um, annoying customers can be because a customer called Michael, I won't divulge his second name, on eBay brought this one, Tag Classics 94.95. Gave me